morning is going weird already and I want to show you guys a real good case in point of how this visual inspection when it's uh, of a coupling, when it's super cold out, it's below zero. I'm in Minnesota and really uh, icy conditions, very snowy. I'm in a drop yard. I'm doing the uh, empty trailer goose chase today. <laughs> Always a favorite. And I'm trying to hook up to this trailer and I'm having a hard time getting the release arm to go in all the way and to, to uh, lock the kingpin into place because everything's frozen. So let me show you how easy it can be to think it's latched when if you look more carefully, it's not, I'll show you. Okay, so we see how icy and salty this is. So it's really hard to see that that kingpin is all, or that uh, release arm is almost fully released, but it's not, uh, or almost fully latched, but it's not. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with words, but it's it's hard to tell because it's just out a tiny bit. It's, it's out less than it was the last video I showed you guys this. And then if you go underneath, see how there's just that teeny, it's really hard to see because everything is salty and icy, but I can see it. There's a tiny bit of silver on that edge there. So that's not fully in there. So I don't know, man. I'm just gonna try to back into it harder and see if it'll see if it'll go. Oh, I'm blurry here. Sorry, I'm looking at I'm not looking at my video here. I'm gonna just try to back into it harder and see if it'll go and get out from under here and stop breathing all this exhaust. But it's just right at that very edge there, like right. I can't even point to it, but it's like that very edge right up against the. Uh, the fifth wheel there that you can see a little bit of silver that's not in all the way so i'm doing the same thing that i did last time i'm trying to uh have the enter the um oh my gosh the traction control turned off and i have the uh interaxle lock selected right on lock when i put it in reverse also something i didn't mention in my last video but as a pointer from my buddy dirk always giving me the good pointers is uh I'm putting it into second gear reverse. I think that's how you would say it, I don't know, but it's gonna give it a little bit more power as I back into it. So wish me luck that this does the job. If not, I'm gonna try hammering on the release arm, see if that'll get it to to get in there all the way. Cause I think it's just that it's, you know, it's just frozen and stuff doesn't act, act right when it's cold. Okay, I got it. Let's see if you can see the difference. So what I needed to do is just hammer on the, um, release arm there and it, it was basically the ice that was keeping it from going in the rest of the way I think it was just ice around the arm itself so now it's nice and flush the way it should be and it's really crazy how hard it is to see but can you guys see now that that little tiny band of silver that was on the right side against the fifth wheel is now in there so now I feel confident it's fully in there I'm going to complete the rest of this Safety check of this trailer. Use the tire, th the tire thumper is what I used, by the way, to hammer on the uh, release arm. I didn't even need to use a regular hammer. So I'm gonna thump my tires, take a look around at the brakes, hope that they're not frozen. Oh man, I shouldn't have even said that out loud. <laughs> and hit the road. And now, as I attempted to pull out of this spot, I quickly discovered my brakes are, my tandems are frozen AF. So uh, I'm about to get out there with my hammer and get under this trailer and try to get them unfrozen. But uh, what really sucks is that all of the um, brakes on this, like most of our, pretty much all of our trailers in this company, are covered with brake covers. So it's very hard to hammer on the brakes. It's like this company is based in a state where it's constantly snowy and icy and they have those covers on that make it very difficult to unfreeze your brakes. So that's a bummer. Ooh, they unlocked once I started rolling. <laughs> Thank goodness. I, I was about to get under there and then this guy with the snow plow was plowing the lot came over and he asked me to get out of that spot so he could plow it. And I was like, well, I need to get under there. And blah did he blah and told him the spiel. And he was like, I was like, I don't want to drag it out. You know, he's like, well, you could, you can drag it out on this because it's all like ice. He's like, you won't hurt the tires. I'm like, okay. So I was like, let me crawl out of this spot. And then as I was crawling out, I felt it release and I looked and the tires were turning and I was like, oof. And I did a little serpentine turn so I could look at the tires, the tandems on the passenger side and they were turning and I was like, gross. <laughs> you know, it's like, the thing is I could be mad because I, you know, I'm doing the trailer goose chase, which means I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just hurting my day right now. I'm running behind for this delivery or pickup. It's gonna hold me back for my day. 
it's going to result in less pay. But I'm also having a good time. And uh, that's one of the things, it's like, you know, I keep mentioning Josh. I'm not obsessed with you, Josh. <laughs> but it's like the, uh, what he was saying in his video, it's like, no, was it him that I'm thinking of that said this? Yeah, it, he likes when you're, you know, you're building from the bottom up. And that's, I like that too. I like the challenge of things. I like, I like struggling in the snow. I'm sick like that. <laughs> if you like hard jobs, I got something for you, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I made it to my pickup and uh, as soon as I, I, I do this every time, I saw the address, I'm like, why do I know this place is a good place? I like going here. <laughs> There's a yard driver who's a super sweetheart and he's always like super helpful and friendly and he's always glad to see me and we always chat. Uh, he's a very heavy uh, Minnesota accent. <laughs> he's great. He's always like, oh, you can just drop it right there. You don't have to put the tandems back. I'm not doing a good impression, but you know what I mean. Um, but I was gonna say about my video of the coupling procedure, I wanna make it clear that I'm directing that more at inexperienced drivers. I think that, and there was some debate in my comments about like different ways of doing that. And for more experienced drivers, it might be a little bit different. And I also wanna emphasize the point that it's a variety of factors that you pay attention to when you're coupling but especially when you're a new driver you should just look at everything like and so I could tell as soon as I backed into that trailer it felt weird it sounded weird it wasn't I could tell that it didn't connect right before I did the visual inspection but I wanted to look at it and be sure and then I was interested to find that it was not just that I wasn't connected but it was like difficult to really fully see that I wasn't connected it was like a a little different than the last time so I just wanted to, to show that especially for a newer driver it's like when you're newer you really can't be too careful and it takes some time to develop the sensitivity to different things and different methods of doing you know ways of doing things where you have the sense of security that you did it right uh, so as a new driver you just have to do everything to take all the steps go by what you hear go by what you see go by what you feel and double and triple check and use your flashlight. <laughs> so that's pretty much it.